Public education is getting bad grades. Low test scores and shoddy teaching. Government run schools fail kids. The education monopoly says fix things by investing in the education of our children. That always means spend more money. Actually believe in public education. But my city already spends billions. Where does the money go? Under Mayor de Blasio, the Department of Education is spending a lot more on its staff at headquarters. 70% more on education bureaucrats. Bureaucrats eat the funds while kids struggle. Not learning and slipping through the cracks. There are some charter schools that do better, but the government limits their number. So nearly 50,000 kids are on wait lists. Richer parents can escape to private schools, but poorer families are stuck. That's why many parents are ecstatic to receive this letter from a charity called SSP for Student Sponsor Partners. And I literally cried so hard when I received that letter because I, I knew it was another opportunity, you know, for my son. Her son, Tyler, didn't feel safe in his government-run school because of frequent chaos like this. <laughs> Yeah, I remember uh, one of my best friends being shot and killed right next to me. High schools in the Bronx are um, violent. There's no discipline. There's no education. Many Catholic schools, even though they spend much less money, are better. SSP sent Tyler to Cardinal Hayes High School. Cardinal Hayes straightened Tyler, helped him, you know, excel in life. Strike three call. Including helping him become an outstanding baseball pitcher. Tyler Roche strikes out the side. I was fortunate enough to uh, receive seven free agent contracts coming out of high school. Now he's in college. He and thousands of other SSP students have been put on a path to success. That's why I support that charity. I'm not Catholic, but I've paid Catholic school tuition for dozens of kids and personally mentored five. She's my mentor and my friend. SSP is different from other groups that work with kids because it chooses an adult mentor for every student. When I wanted to give up, um, it was refreshing to have somebody who wasn't in my immediate family telling me that I could do it. Kimberly Anderson's mentor helped her find a career. I was just like, oh yeah, I want a job. And then she was like, what type of job? And I was like, I could just work in a food supermarket place. And she was like, you have to think bigger. How are you? <laughs> now Kimberly is a mentor. Are you having a good day? Are you, still, are you writing your paper? Christopher Namtsi was Jorge Aguilar's mentor. He planted the seeds in my brain that I could do big things in life. He did. He went to medical school and became a doctor. He's the first in his family to go to college. SSP helped me break the chain of poverty. 85% of SSP kids graduate high school. That's twice as many as their public school peers. Most are accepted by colleges. All this happened because years ago, this man saw a problem. Unless a parent was reasonably well-to-do, she or he had no freedom to choose the school that they thought best for their children. So Peter Flanagan started SSP. One of the first kids he helped was Deborah Vizzi. I had been homeless for a while. I left an abusive foster home and was sort of hopping around from shelter to shelter. I met Peter Flanagan after frequenting a soup kitchen. He said to me, that I could go to this really wonderful high school and that he would pay for it. And so I was suspicious, as I should have been, as especially as a kid who was on the street. But he was legit. And um, he, at the time, paid $350 for me to go to one of the best high schools in New York City. His mentorship gave her more than an education. He didn't realize that he helped me trust men, that he helped me believe in people, that he helped me have a future, that in, on some level, even helped me to become a mother later, and a good mother, and a protective one, something that I hadn't had. Deborah's now executive director of SSP. If you would have told me when I was 12 years old, when I met Peter Flanagan, that I would then run this organization, I would have said that you were crazy. SSP now seeks more mentors and donors. Maybe you want to volunteer 
to help more young people escape bad government schools. SSB does what the school system in New York does not do for the kids. 